this is Nicholas Velasquez. <laughs> Here we go, Nick. <laughs> We've been eagerly anticipating you coming out. Nick Velasquez from the Fight Lab USA. His coaches, Grace Delgado and Felson Sajones. And Two he's coming and out one. to journey. Yeah, I meant respect. I think he did that because Larry just got here, finished his long journey, <laughs> and joined us <laughs> here at the World Kickboxing Series. Yeah. What kind of flag is this? Is Puerto Rico name? Uh, I don't know. One's the Puerto Rican it. flag. Uh, the other one I wasn't positive about. Yeah, I was, I'm curious what the other flag was. Now, Brandon Dre here in blue, I have seen him fight before. A very technical fighter, likes to stay on the outside and angle and use his teeps and his long kicks. Uh, he is uh, a taller fighter. He's got very slick timing. Stays on the outside, throws some feints, uh, and then he'll close distance quickly and then get back outside, angle up. Really enjoyable to watch. Um, and he is fighting somebody, but for this fight, he's, when I saw him, he was fighting shorter opponents. He could use that advantage. Here, facing Nicholas Velasquez, he seems to be the shorter guy. Yeah, that's interesting. How do you have to adjust the, almost your own style when there's a difference in body shape and size? Yeah, it's all about strategy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the official in-ring introductions, this contest, the 155-pound weight class, scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing before me right now, fighting out of the blue corner, Representing Pharaoh's Muay Thai, this is Brandon Trahan! And his opponent, standing to my left, fighting out of the red corner and representing the Fight Lab USA, this is Nicholas! Velasquez! And here we go, three two-minute rounds in the 155-pound division. Let's see how this plays out here. Velasquez with a nice early low kick to start it out. Brandon picked up on that. He's checking those kicks now. Ooh, nice high kick from Velasquez, followed by a front deep. Yeah, it shows something when your high kick actually knocks your opponent's glove over to the side a little bit, that he does have some power. Oh, sure. Yeah, both gentlemen work from distance, so that's nice to see. Little, little hook kick that he tried to throw around the gloves, which I which I appreciate. It's a cool technique. Tries to jab to the body. I mean, he's got those long rangey arms, why not? Yeah, uh, Velasquez reminds me of Paul Williams, a boxer back in the day, if you remember him. Mm -hmm. Big, long, lanky arms. He can really hit you from pretty far out there. Yeah, it's frustrating. You take a lot of jabs to the forehead trying to get on the inside. At least I did. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I got a big forehead. <laughs> Dre here pretty slick there. He saw Velasquez spin and tried to capitalize on that and commit, come in on him. Oh, nice low kick. Yeah, it was good reaction. Your size. Nice low kick from Dre here there. Th those definitely have some power in him. You can see him coming down. Nice body shot. Oh, that was a big right. Oh, you got that one. Dre here smells blood. Yeah, he is attacking the same spot. Nice little short uppercut to end that round by by Brandon. And I have seen that from, uh, from Brandon Dre here in the blue in the past. When he finds a target, and he just and he and it hits. He keeps going for it with this tenacious, just precision, over and over, hitting it from different angles, throwing in different combinations with the punches, then going back to the low kick. Very, he's very intelligent for a young fighter at only three and one. Yeah, I think you kind of nailed the word precision there. 
because he had a level of accuracy that I really respect, especially in like a, a fighter with his amount of fights. Yes, yes. I think this is, this is also what, what they teach in the, in the gym, you know. If you practice, 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 it will come out in the, in the ring. And that's, that's, you see that now. The accuracy, the accuracy yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so what adjustments does Nicholas have to make? What adjustments is the red corner making going into round two? Gentlemen? I think he's got to do something to, to counteract those uh, low kicks coming in because Dreher's, uh, I'm telling you, Dreher's going for that out of the gate. I think, I'm calling, I think he's going to just keep finding that target. There you go. He so he threw block, a little fake in to, there. He needs to block the low kicks also because, you know, Dreher, he, after the punch, he's on a start with the low kick, as you see. And that'll slow your whole game down. Yes. He just keeps going back to it and back to it and back to it. You hear Velasquez's corner saying, use your hands. Oh, nice, nice body, body shot. shot. And Dre here took that advice. Sure did. Nice evasion from Dreher there. Wasn't quite a able to capitalize. And he is just putting money in the bank going after that uh, that lead leg of Velasquez. Nice block. Do you think uh, that <laughs> Velasquez is heavy on that front leg? Yes, I think so. Um, I think in his movement when he's boxing, you know, he's leaning on his, his front leg. So now he, he starts to block the low kick, so that's good. Dreher going for the inside, mixing it up a little bit. Nice punches, followed by a kick. Yeah, you see the red corner slow down because of it, right? It's just very hard to, to bring yourself back, but that was a good combination. Nice high kick from Velasquez. Oh, almost is spinning back. And he's getting his momentum back. Momentum on the spin and pulling the momentum back into his game here is Velasquez. Ah. It seems like those kicks that Dre Hur land are having more and more effect. Oh, that was a big overhand right, went right around his glove. Wow. All right, taking those deep breaths, that's that time you go back into your corner and you just kind of like have to dig deep. That's what's happening right now. I think Valeska did good with, the, with also countering the low kicks, you know, to, to put also the low kicks back, but he has to put more volume it's in his punches. To, to bring this was back, but that was a good combination. But then he gets one back. So he needs to start blocking. Nice high kick. Nice high kick. From yeah. Velasquez. Like he certainly has the athleticism and the dexterity. It, it's more about putting it together at this point. He needs to mix it up. Right. Pulling the momentum back into his game here. Is Velasquez. Nice. And you can it see seems like those kicks that Dre her land are having those more shots more landing and accumulating oh, on the leg of Velasquez. Right, right He's still staying in there. Third and final two minute round coming up here. Impressive talent tonight. Really impressive talent. Even, even the, the people who did not win really showed great technique. Sure, absolutely. And it has gone dark. Oh, very nice deliver shot there. Yeah, you heard it. I believe, is Dreher cut up right at his left eye? Possibly. Can't quite see it. I don't here. see it yet. What's going on with the lights? Coming back. <laughs> it's just for dramatic effect. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think, don't we have enough drama? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's our lighting designer here? I know. Ooh, oh, nice solid ha right hand. Again, the, the accuracy that, that we've been talking about. Velasquez need to work more. Yeah, Velasquez does yeah, need to get busier in this more, fight. Yeah. Nice, nice combination from the Dre from Dreher going to the body with the hands, the leg with the kick. 
Seems like the momentum is all Dre here in this round, in my opinion. Yeah, it's it's nothing worth a yellow card. It's not that he's stalling. It's just that he can't pick up his rhythm Ooh. because right. it's being disrupted by Dre here's attacks. So you see Dre now s saw that Valeskas is blocking the, the low kicks, you know, so he started working the body also and the inside low kicks. So that's, that's really nice of him. Yeah. Ju just when Velasquez thought he had the answer, Dreher changed the question. Yes. Yes, you see? You see Velasquez blocking, so he goes to the inside. Oh! A lot of ring IQ on display from Brandon Dreher there out of Faro's Muay Thai in Sparta, New Jersey. And he is fighting like a Spartan out there. And he's mixing up his angles. He'll come low, come high, come up again, go with a punch, go with a kick. But I like the pressure now for this one. Yeah. Ooh. Nice fight, wow. nice fight. Good fight. Good Very fight nice here. fight there, absolutely. Velasquez picking up the pressure and the volume just a little too late towards the end of that round. But really, just excellent job by both fighters. And, and watching the growth, as you said, of Brandon Dreher. I mean, we think he has this fight in the bag, but we'll wait for the particulars. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see how any judge could see it any other way. I think he took it, if not three rounds to none. You know, I, I would say three rounds to none. I don't think Velasquez did enough in any round to convincingly take it. What yeah. do you think, Regan? I, I think also Drew, Drew won the fight. I think also, yeah. Scored way too many points with the low kicks. So. <laughs> right. Low kicks and, and, and some of the power shots with his right hand. Yes, yeah. Yes. yeah, also the right hand. It's really impressive when you when you see like everybody taking to K1. It's not something that we do enough in the US. So, you know, you see everybody sort of taking to it and, and getting to see it happen more and having events like this and you guys coming into town and really inspiring a lot of these younger fighters. Yeah. I mean I, I hope that there's just more and more for this beautiful art. Yeah, I hope also because you see it's all action, you know. It's it's no please. I love Muay Thai. But, you know, kickboxing is a little bit different, you know, no please and all action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-hitting rounds of kickboxing action, let's give it up for both these fighters for going the distance. But there can be only one winner. The judges have scored this bout all in favor of your winner by judges' unanimous decision. The Blue Corner, Brandon Dreher. As expected, Brandon Dreher brings home the unanimous decision win, and I'm sure Velasquez will go back to the gym, learn from this, and come back even stronger. And yeah, as you were saying there, Regan, before uh, Larry Legend uh, announced the verdict there, yeah, with the kickbox, you can see that that speed and that crowd pleasing, uh, you know, pace of the fight. Yes, yes. So it's all three minutes, two minutes, all action, you know. The referee comes only when, when the fight starts pleasing, so. Yeah. Yeah, and you see Amir Ibrahim there, a Pharaoh's Muay Thai with his charge, Brandon Dreher. I'm sure they're going home very happy tonight.